So this week, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be jumping into a discussion about the Alpha 2 keys. How much are the keys? Are they even worth buying? Is the price worth buying? Is what you get with them actually worth it? And is the way Intrepid's doing it pretty decent or am I against it? And kind of just cover all the bases from a factual point to a speculative point and obviously how it would benefit you as a player or a guild. But without rambling on anymore, I'm just going to jump right into the video and get amongst all the content. Content. So we have three key bundles in the new Alpha 2 key system, each with very similar packages for each bundle. Now the only difference being when they allow you entry, so certain dates to testing, as each key allows you entry at different points, but we'll get more into that in a minute. Now we have the first wave bundle, which is $120, and it's probably the best price bundle, and the best for people looking to get into testing, and is the key that we expect all our guild members to have, and if they haven't got that that package when all packages were on sale then they probably won't be getting in the guild because obviously we are alpha 2 mandatory guild so if you are looking to get active and get involved in guild most guilds will want you to have phase one and for the extra 20 dollars i really don't think it's that bad these are going to stop selling on the first of november or until supplies of that key last i couldn't give you a concrete number of how many keys they have for sale i imagine they have an idea roughly and we'll just have to see but if you are invested and you do want to get in i would get that key asap then we have the second wave bundle which is 110 dollars these will stop selling on the 13th of december or yet again until supplies last and finally we have the third wave bundle which is 100 dollars and these are going to stop selling on the 27th of may or until supplies last also if you've bought the wayfarer or the expeditionary pre-order packs and you're worried about getting access to alpha 2 they have changed the upgrade price if you paid 150 for access to the beta one with the expedition pre-order pack you can purchase the alpha 2 add-on for only $25 if you've paid £75 for access to beta 2 with a wayfarer pre-order pack you can purchase an alpha 2 add-on for $50 as well so this is allowing people to upgrade it's really monopolizing on getting more and more people in and if I was you personally if you can financially afford it I would invest in this if you want to be playing the game long term if you do want to do testing if you want to get involved in the feedback I would definitely get one of these per Personally, I believe paying the £100 or 110 is pointless. Just fork out for the 120 because you're really getting that full testing experience. And especially if you grow on a guild, you get the three days to start doing stuff and, and getting involved with your guild. Then it ups to phase two and five days. And then you have the persistent one. And I do believe phase three is kind of more of a placeholder. There's going to be a lot more content there. And I do believe this is potentially going to take over two years. So, you know, you are going to get a fair amount of content in there and testing and, you know, get your, your voice heard. So what exactly are the bundles? And we'll start with the cheapest bundle, the third wave bundle. Now in the third wave bundle, you're going to get one month of game time, $15 worth of embers, access to both beta 1 and beta 2, access to alpha 2 phase 3 testing, which starts on the 1st of May, as long as Intrepid sticks to the current roadmap. Now bear in mind, this date could change depending on development. Now moving on to the second wave bundle. In the second wave bundle, you're going to get one month game time $15 worth of embers access to both beta 1 and 2 access to both alpha 2 phase 2 alpha 2 phase 3 this means your testing should begin on the 20th of December again just a warning on this day could change and it all depends on testing or if intrepid delay or tweak stuff and finally we'll cover the first wave bundle and in the first wave bundle you're gonna be getting one month of game time $15 worth of embers access to both beta 1 and beta 2 access to all three alpha 2 testing phases you're not going to be able to join alpha 2 testing as early as people who bought the old packages like myself or phoenix initiatives and whatnot their testing begin on october the 25th whereas with this new bundle you will join phase one testing on the 8th of november which is two weekends later meaning you'll only really miss out on six days of testing hopefully there'll be no further delays and these dates are correct but they may change due to development so it should always 
bear that in mind. And personally, the six days of testing you miss out on, I think the first two weekends of this are going to be a bit of a clusterfuck, are going to be a bit of a shit show. So I don't personally think you are coming in two weekends later. I don't really think it's that big of an issue. Most of the issues should have been sorted then and you should come into a, not the perfect gaming situation because it is a test, but you should come into a more grounded experience and a, a bit more quality controlled. Now, if you are looking to know exactly what will be tested in each of these phases, you will have to look out for my next video, which I'm going to take a deep dive into each phase. I'm going to have two videos potentially. One's going to be phase one and phase two, and I'm fully going to cover every detail, every aspect, every quote or discord comment or leaked bit of information, non-NDA breaches, obviously I don't want to get people into shit, but any information I have, I'm going to get deep dive into, and I'm going to kind of fully cover that and say from other certain things I've read and seen, will that change, will that be tweaked? And then the final video will cover phase three, which is kind of what everyone expected day one of Alpha 2 to be, and kind of get into that. I do have a big opinion on that. I have a lot of speculation, but a lot of actual facts to go with it as well. Do stay tuned for that video. It's going to be quite good, and I'm looking forward to deep diving into that pre a 2 drop. But moving on to my thoughts and opinions on the Alpha 2 packages, because obviously there's been some super negative comments and this is a scam, this is a joke and all this. And then there's been some, this should be more expensive, Intrepid's perfect, this is, you know, all amazing. And, you know, what are my thoughts on it? Is it amazing? Is Intrepid awesome for doing it this way? Is it a scam? Is it an absolute joke? Now, for me, I think it is well priced and I think it's fairly priced. So I did make a video Roughly, this is the price I expected, about 100, 120. It kind of does make sense, and I think, personally, this is the best way Intrepid could have done it. As a member who wants to be a part of this game and just a player, I think it's well worth it for me. I'm going to be in the game two years early. I'm going to get to give feedback on the last hope of MMOs for me. This truly is like I give up on MMOs. Like I'm so sick of them. I'm so sick of players protecting them and saying, oh, this is fine. The pay to win's fine. The half hour story quests and, and the systems and the crap dev replies and the corruption within these games and, you know, devs genuinely spawn the stuff in or selling gold or just, you know, the, the cheating and exploiting the bottom. Like there's so many things that I dislike about MMOs now and that people are just kind of like just to tech it and just pay and pay and pay and help these games actually keep existing so for me ashes is, is that perfect game of pvp and, and naval combat and the breeding and taming and the, the wars and the nodes and the replayability and the control from the players that's what i'll get into yes i get to help develop that i get to give my feedback i get directly involved in my final hopes for an mmo which seems a bit cheesy a bit over the top but it genuinely is you know people maybe don't know my past experience but i did leave mmos and for seven years i went hard i did play some mmos and i was quite active in the community but my main thing was seven years on arc and it was extremely hardcore roster and, uh, and guild and it was very communal it was really good teamwork and it was kind of like the old days of mmos because mmos now are very anti-social i don't think they're built for that warfare and that close-knit vibe and it's kind of why i play mmos massive multiplayer online game to be competitive against other people to not be handheld to you know meet people have these communications and, and take these challenges on the team ashes offers that to me so i'm not trying to post or buy sell you this you can see from my other videos but this is just genuinely my honest opinion and you get that for that price and people can say oh well you shouldn't be paying that for anything testing should be free now if steven makes testing free you're gonna get all of these hype warlords all these plebs coming in that do not care about this game the feedback is going to be so saturated with misinformation and bullshit and people that have played four or five hours they won't be able to keep up with it so this kind of slims down that player base for them and they can kind of get a good idea of who is playing now from a guild leader perspective like i am i'm obviously the leader of nephilim we are semi-hardcore guild with a hardcore roster within that we will be very competitive very close-knit vibe so for me this gives the phase one gives three days where we can go in super active get involved get a part of the game then i can do reviews kind of work together communicate and it's a nice easing we phase two we're getting more together with comms are on point, guild members are condensed and you know the people that don't fit are maybe no longer there or any toxicity is removed. Then we go into phase two strong, we keep developing and building and then by the time we're at the end of phase three, we come into Ashes of Creation giving quality feedback, having a good presence and we go in strong and that is when the most fun is there when you have a tight knit unit. So for me personally, paying that price is more than good enough. Is it fairly priced for me personally? Yes. Is it the price I expected? Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's fine. Yeah. I also 
think the change to, you know, about beta 1 and 2 pre-orders with the new add-on, them allowing you to do that. I don't think the communication was the best, but they're allowing you to do that now. I think that's good as well. A lot of testing for $100 as Phase 3 is expected to last a year. Phase 2 lasts over 5 months for only an extra tenner. And Phase 1 gives 18 days of testing for another tenner. That's a lot of content. And you can say, oh, this is a huge chunk of money. But you're doing something that you'll probably never get the chance to do ever again in an MMO. Like, this won't come around twice. Like, so if you are sick of MMOs, and you are sick of the pay to win, and you're sick of the shit state, you can sit back and watch and give your feedback via watching videos, and that's absolutely fine. Or you could buy the Alpha 2 testing phase and actually get directly involved in this game. Shape this game into what you want it to be. So what I will say is, that is the facts that we know for the Alpha 2 key phases. This is my honest opinion. I think it's worth it. I would personally buy in if you want to get involved. If you're not watching content creators like myself, feel free to subscribe to me. Check out the videos. I'm going to have consistent content that is not biased, that is fair and factual, and that is always logical, and I will get the bigger picture of everyone's opinions. But as always, I really do appreciate you watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.